Bonjour, Emily Talpin, OM System Ambassador. Welcome back to the channel. It is gorgeous out there. Uh, finally, we are getting some snow in New Hampshire. And uh, today I want to tell you about one of my New Year's resolution. So let's get started. It was cold outside. So I told you that I wanted to tell you about my New Year's resolution. My New Year's Eve resolution is all about becoming a better wildlife photographer. And for this, I've decided that a good way to keep track of what I'm seeing is to do a journal. So I'm going to have a logging journal where every time I'm out in the field, I will record what I've seen and the location. And I bought this small journal actually a few years ago when I was in Costa Rica. And um, it's very, it's teeny tiny. And then I have, you know, a pen and I can do that when I'm in the field. So I log in my observation. So for example, yesterday I saw some beavers. So when I came back, I wrote down where I saw the beavers and what they were doing and the time. And I want to start doing that with all the wildlife that I'm seeing. You can do it on a journal in the field when you come back, or you can also do it digitally. There are a lot of apps that you can use that will let you do that. One very easy app that you can use is Google Map. And there is an easy way, just open the map and where you are, just say, I saw a beaver in, on Turtle Pond. I'm just gonna press with my finger and then um, it will let me add a marker. It's gonna be my own marker and I can just label it. So let's just say beavers. And then I'll have a map and I can see all around me where I've seen um, the different type of wildlife, the different type of insects. So I think that's pretty neat. That kind of helps me to keep track of all the animals around me. You can also use apps that will help you share those locations. And remember, be careful, you don't want to share locations of snowy owls, for example. That would not be good um, because they're endangered but um, there are a lot of beavers around. I feel comfortable sharing that. Or if I see, um, you know, a hoverfly, I can just upload it on iNaturalist. I can take a picture and then uh, say exactly where I took the picture, the time of the picture. And I think it's great because then you're also helping the scientific community and you're also getting some feedback and that's how you learn. I might make some mistake when I identified some um, birds or some insects. And I think that's why apps like iNaturalist are very important because you're sharing with knowledgeable people. And last but not least, I've just discovered this app when um, I was out uh, photographing wildlife a few weeks ago and um, I met a new friend who told me about On X Hunt. Uh, it's mostly used by hunters, but as photographers, this is a really great app. You have to pay to get it. Uh, right now I'm using it as a one uh, week free trial, but it is packed with information. You open the app and then every time you want to record something, same process, you add a pin. But what is great is that um, you can 
So place the animal that you've seen, date, time, but also you can add some notes. So that's really useful. It's kind of an all-in-one app. And what is extremely useful is that it will give you the property owners. So you want to make sure that when you are out, you're not going to trade pass. You are not going to go into someone's property uh, without any permissions. That's why this app will tell you who owns the land and you can contact them to get permission to photograph on their land. Because remember, we need to respect the rules as, as photographers, right? You might think that you're getting on someone's land with your camera, it's not gonna be a problem, but you never know. Maybe they planted some crops and they're not gonna be happy to see that you step on their crop. So very important, um, make sure maybe it's public land, then that's great. But if it's not public land, then this app will actually give you the name of the person who owns the land and hopefully get permission. Now, what is your technique? Do you even keep track of the animal that you're seeing around? Um, do you keep a journal? Um, I'm, I'm kind of interested because I think it's something that naturalists do a lot and maybe photographers not so much but we should be, right? Um, I think it's gonna help us improve and remember uh, the behavior of the animals, where they're located, at what time. And the more you know about your subject, the better you'll be able to photograph them. And that I think is something I learned uh, while doing this. I'm at now year three of photographing this family of beavers in my local pond. But I feel like because I've been you know, photographing those beavers for three years now, I have a better understanding of who they are, their personality, and so I'm able to position myself better and also go in the field where I'm pretty sure I'm gonna see a beaver at that time or at that location. And they do change, you know, uh, uh, but I will understand those changes because I've seen them happen before. I hope this will be a good topic to discuss because it's not all about gear, but it's also about preparation when you want to improve uh, yourself as a wildlife photographer. So let me know in the comments. Don't hesitate if you have any questions on the app or maybe you want to recommend other apps that you are using and that are very good. I know there are quite a lot and it can be a daunting task to know which one to use and some are free some you have to pay so feel free post it in the comments what do you use to keep track of the wildlife that you are seeing also if you are interested in uh, bird photography uh, i still have my videos uh, coming out right now this month this january with bnh the one that's coming up on wednesday i am so excited because there is a pretty cool appearance from something that's not a bird. You should definitely check it out. Uh, it's coming out on Wednesday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I'm gonna put all the links below if you wanna rewatch some of those videos. Um, the one where I tell you about the type of gear that I use actually is uh, available right now if you wanna go and check it out. And same if you have questions, put them um, on the BNH video. Um, you can see I'm already answering some of the questions, so don't hesitate to do that as well. Also, before the end of this video, I want to send a big shout out to Ed Russell in the UK because he reached out to me and he told me about a new gear that he's making. It's all wood. It's actually oak. I think he also does some uh, uh, with walnut. And you basically put it on the, uh, the feet of your collar. That one is made for the 150-400. I did try it uh, for the 100-400 and it worked pretty well. Instead of two screws, you just use one. And what I like is that, first of all, it's really cold in New Hampshire right now. So I'm holding wood instead of uh, metal. So that's a big plus because it's warmer. And also in terms of stabilization, it's really nice because it just fit nicely in your hand. And then you can just easily uh, decide if you want to be at 150, 400. Uh, so it's very easy to move the barrel. Um, so overall, thank you so much. I really, really like it, Edward, and it's great work. I'm, I love woodworking, uh, so uh, 
yes i'm very very excited i think it works very well with my lens so uh, i'm gonna be using it a lot because i don't use a tripod so it's okay for me to uh you know not uh, use uh, that color so if uh, you are interested in knowing a little bit more about uh, edward's work i'm gonna put his instagram below you can reach out to him um, and uh, you can ask him any questions you want and check out his work as well so thank you so much again edwards um, this is really cool now i hope this video was informative if you have any questions please post them in the comments. I want to thank you again for uh, all your support. Uh, if you are not a subscriber, it's never too late. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you know when my videos are, are coming out. And um, until next week, happy shooting. Au revoir.